Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days. So the next seven days, we're going to see what happens. What do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? You know what I feel? I feel like you guys are about to uh, lose it. I'm not sure if you have lost it. Because what I wanted to say is chew them up and spit them out. So I don't know if you're, if you're like at that point where you're about ready to burst, okay? Or something like that. It feels like you're at a, at a place where you're, you know... You're going to chew them up and spit them out. I don't know what that means for you, but I'm sure that you can figure it out. So, uh, what do we have? What do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next seven days? Overall energy, please. We're going to do this reading a little bit different. We're going to do past, present, future, and your person. Somebody that is coming into your life or whoever you're dealing with, okay? So, a little bit different this time. Ah, ooh, this just fell out. Phone call that changes everything. So there is a phone call that changes everything. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, this card just fell off. Fell off the top as I put it down. Your prayers have been heard. I had to take it. It fell off the top of the deck. So your prayers have been heard. There's going to be a phone call that changes everything, however that resonates with you. So what do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Whatever it is, it, it feels like it must be good news because I just saw the Eight of Wands. But then earlier, before I start, right before I turn this camera on, I saw Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is emotional disappointment, you know, walking away from something that is emotionally disappointing. So either you're walking away from something that is emotionally disappointing or somebody else is. Okay, so what do we have? What do we have for Gemini? Past, present, and future. Eight of Wands reversed in the past, Ten of Wands in reverse in the past, and the Four of Cups in reverse. Present, the Strength card upright, Empress upright, Sun card upright. So, future, you must be glowing at this time. Um, your future, Gemini future, Six of Pentacles reverse, Temperance. Future. And the Seven of Swords, putting some sort of plans in action when the time is right. But what about your person? Let's get those cards for you any further. Page of Pentacles reversed. Somebody that you're that is in your energy very prominently. Seven of Cups reversed. Somebody here is making a choice. Queen of Cups could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I want to get one more. Doesn't have to be. Um, seven of Wands reversed for your person. I feel like what you don't see is stability. Okay, you don't see this coming. Something stable, something solid, something real, some offer. You're going to be gaining something, something that is solid, stable, secure. Okay, there's some sort of security that is coming to you. The challenge is the hangman reverse, struggling to let go of something, refusing to change. Um, maybe you've been sacrificing yourself needlessly, you know, for a situation. Maybe you need a new perspective. The challenge is gaining a new perspective. That's your challenge this week. Your challenge is about being open-minded to change and probably coming out of a space where you need to prove yourself anymore. You don't need to prove yourself. Um, in the past, there's been some sort of miscommunication or a lack of communication. Somebody has been overdoing it. They've been, you know, burying themselves in their work or trying to prove their success. Maybe that's why they weren't communicating with the Ten of Wands reverse or they've had a lot of demands. They've been too busy. There's been a lack of communication or a lack of movement. Um, but we have the Four of Cups reversed right next to that. That's seizing a new opportunity. I feel like you, you've you been in a place where you've been overwhelmed. You've had a lot on your plate. You've, you've been feeling weighed down. You've been 
not really you're feeling lost you've been feeling lost and empty inside maybe you've been ignored or misplaced or misunderstood or you know that you've been uh, It's just been very overwhelming in the past. It feels like maybe somebody ignored you. They ignored you. You know, they didn't want your love. They didn't take care of you. They weren't interested in you. You know, that's what it looks like to me. It, it looks like uh, they maybe you've been blocked by somebody. You know, somebody blocked you. Or you were blocking them. You may have blocked them. You, maybe you were just choosing not to uh, give them your time or give them your energy or it could go vice versa but as far as the past goes there's a lack of success there's a lack of movement and I think that you've been carrying a heavy weight you've been carrying a heavy burden but I do see you losing this weight now some of this could actually have to do with weight maybe you're going to be focusing on your weight maybe you've lost weight I don't know maybe you've already lost weight there's something because the ten of wands reverse is dropping a burden it's dropping weight so I feel like there's been, you know, you've been carrying some sort of something that is very, very heavy, um, but I feel like it's time to relax, and I think that you're, that you're ready to make a conscious change in your life and let go of something that has been holding you down, something that has been holding you down from emotional fulfillment. So I think that you've been holding on to something, whether it's an actual weight, you know, it's actually your weight, or it's a person or it's a situation that is holding you down and it's absolutely suffocating. It feels like you're suffocating. You've been suffocating. It feels like you've had a hard time communicating because people people don't understand you. I feel like you've been misunderstood. Um, but anyway, I think that that's over. I do feel like that phase is your is over because the Four of Cups is now reversed. That's beginning to see that there's something that's becoming interested. So I feel like you're you're now ready. I feel like you've been blocked or something like that, but you're now ready to drop something that has been holding you down. It's been holding you down for some time. I don't know if it's been four years. I want to say four years. It doesn't have to be four years. Um, this may, something may go back to four years ago. I don't know where this four years plays a part. Um, but right now, I feel like ex you are glowing. You're glowing. I feel like you're in a place where you've obviously experienced a lot of pain. A blessing is coming. I feel like there's, and you may not see that there's a blessing that is coming. I mean, we have the strength, the empress, and the sun. Those are all very beautiful, extremely beautiful. Even with the sun reversed, I feel like there's a lot of beauty here. If you are if you are looking for love, you have somebody here that is absolutely beautiful. This is somebody that is graceful, that is tactful, that is gentle and loving, okay? But you may not see it. You may be in the dark in regards to this person. And maybe it's you. If you are a feminine that's watching this, it looks like it's a feminine we have a feminine here that is absolutely glowing she is a creator she's embarking on a new life she is about to receive a blessing okay there's a blessing that is coming I feel like you know what doesn't kill you makes you stronger I feel like you've gained a lot of strength you've gained a lot of perseverance and you're in a place where you are looking really 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 good and you may not see it I feel like you may not see that you are looking really 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 good okay I feel like you have multiple options especially if you are a female watching this if you are a masculine watching this you have a female around you that is absolutely beautiful this person is very gentle and kind and caring and loving um, again if you are the female that is watching this you are taking on this energy you may not see it because the Sun is reversed somebody doesn't see it that's lack of clarity that's a, that's 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 unclear you may be unclear of the beauty within yourself and if you are a masculine that goes for you as well there's there's like there's a there's like an unknowing it's like you don't know how beautiful you are but you are you're absolutely beautiful so that's just a little friendly reminder but anyhow I feel like there's some sort of determination to start a new life you may be very very determined to find happiness I feel like you've been in an unhappy situation that has been extremely painful um, with somebody that or something that has really weighed you down but I feel like that is coming to an end because I feel like it's, it's time it's time to create your new life the, the Empress is a rebirth it's the birth of a new life it's creating it's creating a new life with gentle 
perseverance and I feel like you've had to be patient and I think that you're going to continue to need to be patient because you're going through a major transformation right now. The temperance is a card of transformation and that's in your future. So I do feel like you're going through a, it's a kind of like a spiritual renewal as well. And, it, and and we have your prayers have been heard and with the with the temperance card it's like a card of alchemy. So I feel like you 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 have something coming to you but i don't feel like you see that it see it coming i feel like when it comes you're gonna run right into it it's it is you're gonna run right into it but anyway i feel like you've been lonely due to disillusionment right now you may be feeling depressed you may be feeling sad and i feel like and i feel like that's because you don't know you don't maybe you don't know your value you don't know how beautiful you are whether you are a male or a female we have some serious beauty here um strength Strength is a card of mastering emotions, controlling yourself, restraining yourself. And I think that's what you're doing right now. And maybe you're focusing on your self-love. You're focusing on yourself or you're focusing on your beauty. You're focusing on your health. Some of you are really, really focusing on your health during this time. I feel like you're making some conscious changes in your life. Um... And I think it's very, very positive, but you may not see it. You may not, you may not see that this is a positive change that is happening within you, but the rest of the world does. Okay. Everybody else can see it. Okay. So anyway, um, you're absolutely glowing and I feel like there's this graceful nature about you that you may not see but everybody else does and that's something very enlightened i think that you have some sort of enlightenment about you that you're not seeing I, you're not seeing about yourself but it's pretty darn clear to me but anyhow in your future i feel like there's some sort of rejection i just got to be honest you may be rejecting somebody because you've evolved okay you've evolved you know you may be looking in another direction this is your future okay like the temperance is the card of evolution it comes after an ending so i'm not sure sure if you are experiencing you know a goodbye with somebody because i saw the eight of cups before i turned on the camera you may need to tell somebody goodbye you've evolved you know you, you the six of pentacles is a rejection they weren't giving you what you deserve they weren't reciprocating it was one-sided you know and that's that's not fair that's an injustice i feel like somebody has abused your generosity or they've tried to abuse your generosity you could be dealing with a thief or a scammer or uh, somebody that is very malicious I feel like um, there's there could even be some cheating going on deception I feel like I feel like in the future there is some sort of exchange here I feel like you're if, you may be even changing your mind you may be changing your mind about a person you know that hasn't been giving you what you need you know you may be deciding to uh, escape this situation maybe you just want to escape you know you want balance you want harmony in your life it feels like that's what's happening it's like you know what I'm not gonna give to you anymore I'm not gonna give you my peace I'm not gonna give you my harmony because I'm keeping it for myself I want my peace I want my harmony I want the balance in my life I'm gonna accept and cut my losses so I do believe that you are gonna be cutting your losses with somebody you may be departing you may be making an escape you may be maybe you've been um, saving up or something to get out of a situation if that part is for you um, I think that you have been in a situation where there has been a lack of growth with somebody but while that growth has not been happening with them it's been happening within you okay you've been growing you've been evolving you've been uh, basically incubating your own self you know what i mean nurturing your own self taking care of yourself and it's so empowering it's, it is very empowering people are are really noticing the changes that you are making but anyhow um your person your person with the page of pentacles reversed the seven of wands reversed the seven of cups reversed and the queen of cups so your person maybe a water sign doesn't have to this person may have water in their chart the cover happens to be on the cup so i'm not sure if this person is giving love to you if they're not expressing love to you they're withholding they're withholding their emotions they are not emotionally available they may be emotionally withdrawn it's like 
they may have another option there's another option here the seven they may have chosen another option it's like they've made their choice they are they've given up if whoever you're dealing with is not putting in much effort it feels like they've they've given up they're not really interested they're not interested in putting in any effort i feel like this person is is um I feel like they they have a lot of other options and that's why they're not putting in much effort. You know, they're exploring their other options. So I think that's that's something that you probably need to consider. I feel like you need to um, stop. Uh, there's competition here. There's competition. This person um, loves the competition that they put you in. You're part of the competition, you know. They like the attention that they are getting. You're just You're just one of their options. And I think that you know that. I do think that you know that. I think that you've been wasting your time waiting with the hangman reverse, struggling to let go of a person that's never going to change. This per That's the way this person is. This person likes their multiple choices, okay, and they don't plan on changing that. They don't plan. This is a dead end with the page of pentacles reversed. You're either dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you know, or somebody that has those strong energies in their chart. This person has a wandering eye. They're not, they're not interested in something long term. They may say that because they speak words of love, but words are one thing, actions are another. And I don't see this person fighting for you or uh, putting up a fight for you. I feel like this person has, you know, given up. They've given up or you need to give up. I feel like they're, they, they are um, exploring their options, whoever this person is. It feels like you got somebody around you that uh, just is not interested in commitment they're, or committing to the to the purpose you know they like to fight with you there's somebody here that likes to fight the, the seven of wands is a fighter it's like i'm gonna fight with you and, and as long as i win you know they just want to take they they want to be the winner and they want to win at all costs so i feel like this that you need to uh not give to this person and i feel like in the future you're going to be making an exchange i feel like you're also embarking on a new uh well, you're creating a new story with the Empress. The Empress creates a new life. You're going to be creating a new story. You know, if you are a masculine, maybe it's with an Empress. Uh, this is, that could be a Taurus or a Libra. We also have Leo here. Um, but this is creating a new story. It's a beautiful story. It's a story of love and grace and gentle tender love and care maybe it starts within yourself um the sun card reversed is not happy no growth you need to restrain yourself you need to find your determination know your value know your worth hold your head up high know how beautiful you are do not give to somebody that doesn't see your value that doesn't see your beauty you have multiple options as well Okay, and I feel like you're starting to explore those other options. I start. I think that you're starting to see that you have other options. I also feel like you have somebody here that is coming in that you do not see coming. You maybe and you don't see them coming. I feel like this person could be at a distance. I feel like that's uh... good. I feel like this person is at a distance. I don't, I feel like this person is coming in, but there, there's a delay. There is a distance. I know that there is. Chariot reverse could swear there's two cards there. I guess not. Huh. Chariot reversed. There's a delay. There is a delay because you have to, the temperance is a card of patience and profound healing. You need to heal from something. You need to heal. You need to heal. There's something that you need to heal from. You may need to block somebody. You may need to block somebody that has weighed you down. Your prayers have been heard. There's a phone call that changes everything. I feel like you've been really, really sad. You've been in a situation where with a person that is exploring other options. 
I feel like you have somebody here that is really causing you a lot of depression. And I feel like you need to take care of yourself. You need to nurture yourself. You need to focus on your beauty, focus on your health, focus on what's healthy for you. Some of you are going to receive news, and maybe it's of a pregnancy. There could be a pregnancy here. There could be news of a birth. We definitely have a domestic goddess here. This is a creator. You need to have your you need to find courage, you need to find your confidence and your strength and your willpower to overcome this it feels like sadness with the with the with the with the sun reversed. You need to find you to deal with this pain because the empress doesn't get her blessing till she deals with some sort of pain. So there's some there's some sort of pain here. There is with the sun reversed. You may be in some sort of pain because when you deliver a new life or when you give birth to a new life, it doesn't come without pain. So I feel like you're going through some sort of pain. I also feel like there is somebody here that is very, very interested in you that, you know, you may have not been noticing. You may not been noticing this person or you've been ignoring this person. Maybe, maybe it's because you were struggling to let go of something that you were sacrificing yourself for. You know, some of you are dealing with a Pisces as well. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is extremely egotistical. It doesn't have to be a Pisces. It can be anybody. You've been dealing with somebody that is extremely egotistical, that is unwilling to change. And you're missing an opportunity for love by sacrificing yourself for this person who is not really committed to the purpose this person is not committed they're not but i do feel like you're going to be exchanging for something better but you need to heal first you haven't been getting what you deserve it's time for you to uh Accept, cut your losses, and escape. Make your escape, whatever that means. I feel like there's some cheating going on as well. Wheel of Fortune, positive change, being at the right place at the right time. Destined change, of course. Some of you may run into somebody. You may find yourself at the right place at the right time. This could be at a stoplight. It could be when you go to a store. Or it could be uh, something, there's some sort of mix. It's like where things are getting mixed up, which is interesting. This is being, in the same with the Seven of Swords, it's like you're not looking where you're going. You run into somebody with a stop. Some of, if you're single, you could be running into somebody, literally running into somebody. But either way, there is, uh, this is in the future. It is in the future. Divine timing. You're not looking where you're, somebody isn't looking where they're going. They keep looking back at the past. They're going to be running into something that is even better, that is even more aligned with them. You need to stop looking back. Stop looking at the cheater. Stop looking at the snake, the one that doesn't treat you well. There's somebody that you're going to run into. You don't see it. You don't see it coming. This is meant to happen. This is this wheel of life is spinning in your flight flavor flavor something and it's interesting because this temperance it's like there's some sort of mixing going on so i don't know what's going and i know that i i, I know these cards but there's always mixing going on with the temperance but this is really popping out at me um maybe there's some sort of mix up and you meet somebody you know something gets mixed up and you run into somebody and it's destiny this is a destined situation um being at the right place at the right time. You're not looking where you're going. You're not looking for this. And here it is. Stop looking back, though. That's a big message. Stop looking back at this cheater, this person that is exploring all their options, okay? This person, whoever you've been dealing with, um, has many options. They love the competition, they love the attention that they're getting, and they have no intentions of choosing just one. 
None. But in the future, if you stop looking back and you allow, temperance is a card of allowing and accepting that you can't give to this, everything is going to go in your favor. Okay, this is good luck. Okay, it's meant to be. You're going to run into somebody. You're not looking for it. You're going to run into somebody. This person um, is even better. They are. Positive change. Luck is on your side. This may have something to do with a vehicle when you meet this person. This person, there may be an, a delay in this person traveling to you. They may be at a distance, but they're coming. They are coming. Maybe in the next 10 days. And that's... Don't hold me on that. Something about 10 days. I don't know. Page of Wands and Reversed on the bottom that's that's bad news bad news it's it's uh a negative nelly lack you know that wants to bring everybody down that's who you're dealing with you need to find your focus you need to find your mental strength and your determination and your courage and be strong and take care of yourself Take care of yourself. Don't waste your time on somebody that is emotionally unavailable and is playing the field. Be patient. Be patient. Anyhow, I feel like this week is going to be a week you're going to be looking good. Everybody is noticing you. Everybody is noticing your beauty, male or female. They're noticing your courage. They're noticing your strength. They're noticing your uh, graceful presence. Okay, they are. Um, they are probably also noticing some sadness within you. I'm just being honest. I feel like you are about to, or you're in the process of creating a new life. I don't think that you've given birth to it yet, but it's coming. It is, it's soon. The sun is reversed, so it's not right yet. It's coming this year at the end. This is like you're at the end. You're about to receive a blessing. All in good time, however. But, you know, when the time is right, divine timing, it's coming. It's coming. So anyway, this week, I believe that you, somebody may shut you down. I'm just being honest. You may, or you may realize some sort of truth about a person that you're dealing with, that they are exploring multiple options. Um, this person may, you may see that they've made a choice. They may, they may tell you that they're not interested. It's actually a blessing because you got something better here. So anyway, Gemini, I feel like you are really focusing on yourself this week. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, you may be you may be uh, healing from something. There's a lot of healing energy, healing from a rejection. But your prayers have been heard or there's going to be a phone call that changes everything. Whatever this phone call is, it's going to move you in a new direction. It is. It's positive. It's, and you don't see it coming. You may be receiving a, a phone call from somebody that is better aligned with your soul. And you don't see it coming. And that's what I think. Good luck.